Hi everyone, my name is Marie and I'm from Canada. I explore and travel the world to escape the 9 to 5. Make sure to subscribe and come along on this journey as we discover the most amazing places the world has to offer. Hey everyone, we are in Rotorua in New Zealand, so let's go and explore. So it was $65 for two adults. I'd say it's worth it. You can do three different loops. The first one I believe is 1.5 kilometers and in total if you do the three trails it's about three kilometers. So very accessible, not too hard. It's a great little walk in the forest and then you get to see some geothermal activity. was formed in 1968 and now it's four times bigger than what it used to be. Depending on the day, the color is going to change here. It depends on the wind, the temperature and the sunlight. And it's called the artist's palette. I guess it gets its name because the colors always change. The Champagne Pool is the largest hot spring in New Zealand. It was formed 700 years ago and it bubbles over the top, that's why they call it Champagne. And the temperature is always 74 degrees. to take a layer off <laughs> it's getting warm walking all around these uh, thermal things <laughs> feels like a volcano there's ashes everywhere windy the good news is that we're halfway there and we have this beautiful green lake to enjoy and then we'll just walk back to the visitor center just be aware there's a lot of stairs if you do take the green trail. Just wanted you guys to be aware of that. Welcome to Hell's Gate. I'm gonna go for a mud bath. for 20 minutes in the mud bath and now I'm in the sulfur bowl. Right now it's not raining so enjoying the sun. So I just went for a mud bath and it's about $90 and you'll spend 20 minutes in the mud bath and then they'll send you to the sulfur pool and then you can have access to other cold plunges. So how does my skin look? Glowing? It was really fun. It's a bit expensive. If you want to try something unique, I recommend you come to Housegate. Our last stop for today is Okir Falls and this used to bring all the electricity. There used to be <laughs> something <laughs> built <laughs> next to it, a dynamo house and it used to bring all the electricity because it used to be one of the four cities in New Zealand, one of the first four to get electricity. Since 1939 it's been closed and they've constructed a dam and now they're using the dam for electricity but now you can just visit this lovely fall. 
Our Airbnb is actually in Ohir Falls, so it's super close for us to where we're staying. So we're gonna go back to the car and we'll go see our Airbnb for the first time. And we're gonna be staying there for two nights. Welcome to our Airbnb. of our Airbnb. We've got a living room with our second bed that's under there. We've got a kitchen with microwave and fridge. Really, that's all we need. A bathroom with a laundry as well. And then we've got our second bedroom over here. And it's got a great view. And we've got a swing chair. And we also have access to the lake on the other side. We're at Lime Cafe and I forgot to film because I was too hungry. Me? Oops! Eggs Betty with salmon and it's like on a potato stack. It's very good. Today's first adventure of the day is going to Redwoods Tree Walk. We have suspended bridges. It was $38 to get access to the tree walk and it should take us about 30 to 40 minutes to walk the whole thing. It's not that high, so if you are afraid of heights, it shouldn't be too bad. Coming up to an intersection and we have an option to go higher. On va plus haut? We're going higher. Tallest tree of the walk is this one. We're now gonna get a great view by riding the Skyline Gondola. So we paid $57, we rode the gondola up and we're gonna go down on a luge. This should be fun and I asked, I'm only wearing sandals and you don't need close shoes, so that's good. Well-deserved ice cream. So this is the view you get from the platform and right over there you've got the luge and that's where we're about to go. To use the luge to go back down it's totally worth it it's 1.8 kilometers that you can do Ooh, going too fast uh, and uh, yeah really worth it the government gardens and it's free to access and it's open 24 7 so you can just come here have a stroll Oh, 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 oh,
I didn't film much last night, but I want to tell you about what we did. We went for a cultural experience with the Maoris. So they welcomed us into their village and showed us some of the ceremonial things they do. So got the chance to eat a hangi so it's a traditional meal how they cook it they'll dig a hole in the dirt they'll dig about one meter in the ground they'll set a bonfire and then they'll put some stones over it and then the stones will drop to the bottom of the hole and then they're gonna put the food at the bottom and they're gonna let it cook they will cover it with dirt first and then they're gonna let it cook for about four hours so we had chicken lamb sweet potatoes regular potatoes and they also served us salad and then they took us in the forest and we got to see some glow worms and they have a natural spring so we got to see that at night it was beautiful and they told us more about their culture which was very interesting I didn't know that every kid in New Zealand learns Maori at school which is amazing if you're in the area we went to the Mitai village I think there are two different experiences the other one is Te Patu, I think. I highly recommend it. lasts about three hours. My favorite part was the haka and the food of course. <laughs> <laughs> this one here is the poi. Now the poi depicts many things of mother nature, like the birds, the bees, the flowers and the trees. Our women are so skilled, they even mimic the flight patterns of smaller native insects and birds in flight. They are so skilled, they can even mimic the sounds of some modern day things, such as the galloping horse. Even the train, running down the railway track. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.